The intermediate movement on the upper body toner involves the pelvic tilt as on the last exercise. Tighten the stomach and tilt the pelvis upwards. The table speed can be increased to four and you can also stretch your arms above your head as far as you can to stretch and tone the upper arms. This again increases the expansion of the rib cage. As I've already mentioned, when you do move on to the intermediate program, you should remember that you can relax back into the beginner's passive movement at any time should you feel any strain building up or feel at all uncomfortable.
table stops, we're going to move on to the first version of the rowing action, which we call the pullover movement. Move your body further up the table and reach up over your head to hold the handles. Now, depending upon the length of your reach and the flexibility in your shoulders, move up or down the table until you find a comfortable position. When you press the next green button, the handles will come over towards you. Press the flashing green button now and try it for yourself. The speed control should be set to number four. Keeping your elbows pressed in, allow your arms to move with the movement of the handles. And if you feel at all uncomfortable, simply adjust your position on the table, either moving closer to or further away from the handles. This exercise tones the upper arms, the chest and the shoulders. It stretches and lifts the ribcage and helps with posture and breathing. When you try the intermediate version of this exercise, you should tighten the stomach as before and perform the pelvic tilt. The table speed can be increased to the number five setting and as the handles come over towards you, pull on them and then relax as the handles take your arms back above your head. You can reverse this movement if you wish by pushing the handles back and allowing your arms to return with them. Breathe in and out with the action, filling your lungs as you stretch back and breathing out as the handles return towards you.